What's happening, y'all? So today, uh, I guess today, I'm going to acknowledge something that annoys me about one particular thing that about the van life. Now, finding somewhere to park at night doesn't bother me. Wondering what the next person is going to do, that doesn't bother me. Worrying about somebody breaking into the van while I'm in the van, that doesn't bother me. None of that bothers me. The things that you would think would bother somebody don't bother me one bit. However, going to the doctor and the doctor asking you about your home situation and you trying to explain to them your home situation and your home situation isn't exactly like their home situation it's very difficult and you get a lot of doctors who discriminate against people who live in a van or live in their car by choice now I just had an experience where I just had to explain that I live in my van and then the subject come up, well, how do you stay clean? And I said, well, I got a shower, I got a toilet, you know, I got all of that. And then the subject come up, well, how do you have a toilet in your van? You know, it's not a bucket. And, no, it's not a bucket. It's an actual toilet with a tank. And then the subject come up, well, that can't be sanitary. Why can't it be sanitary? My bathroom, aside from having a grill, jumper cables, and my tools in the bathroom where the shower sits, aside from that, that my bathroom is fairly clean. I'm a fairly clean person. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm a fairly clean person. I'm not a neat freak or nothing, but at the same time, I, I don't I don't like bugs. So, but. And that beeping noise you hear is my jumper box dying. Um, but anyway, so then he repeats, well, she repeats that, you know, you need to have a toilet and all it. And I'm like, I have a toilet. Well, you need actual plumbing. I have actual plumbing. I have an actual sink. An actual refrigerator and an actual oven and an actual toilet. I have all of that. And it's like, why is it so difficult to understand that this and then they then they really go and piss me off. Now I don't mind I don't mind if you're trying to help. That I get. But when you're insinuating that I'm homeless uh, you're going to piss me off. And then I'm going to have to go into uh, what my son's mother calls um, Ramon mode. <laughs> and you don't want to see that side. <laughs> when that happens, shit starts happening. So... He kept insinuating, she kept insinuating that I'm homeless, and I kept telling her, I'm not homeless by any means. I, I don't fit the description. If I walked in here and I told you and I lied to you and I said I live in a house and everything is great, would you believe that? And she said, yeah, I would. Well, clearly you would because I'm not dirty. I don't stink. I don't smell. I... I present myself fairly well other than the fact I need to shave most of the time but like and that, and then the only reason I need to do that is because I don't have a damn mirror in here yet when I'm gonna get a mirror at some point put it in the bathroom but that's aside the point you you would never know I mean realistically what does somebody who lives in their car or their van look like what does homeless look like let's focus on this for a second because I've always wondered what does homeless look like? So you see the average guy on the street begging with a cup in his hand talking about he lives outside. 
He probably does. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe he doesn't. Because it's been my experience that most homeless people, and I'm calling them homeless because they don't live in a the car, they don't live, and it's not by choice. Most homeless people, you would never know that they're homeless by looking at them. Now, you got some that, you know, yeah, of course, I mean, you know, you ain't got no choice. But a lot of people that are homeless, you would never know from looking at them that they're homeless. Same thing with hungry people. What does hungry look like? You would never know that they're hungry. If they ain't say nothing, you wouldn't know. So, who are you to, to, to judge the way that I live my life? I don't go around judging people who lives in sticks and bricks, even though I could, <laughs> and do quite a fairly good job at it, but I don't do that, because that's the way they choose to live their life, so as a doctor of all people, who are you to judge who I, what I do when I leave your office? I'm not there for you to tell me that I need a toilet, and I need this, and I need stuff. I don't need you to tell me that. I, I don't need that shit. Fuck that. I live my life the way I want to live it. This is the way I'm happy. And if I didn't live this way, and I did live in the sticks and bricks, I would need a lot more doctors because I would be trying to kill myself regularly. And that's just me being honest with you. Suicide attempts are not beyond Brother Tom. <laughs> when he's unhappy. And and truth be told, sticks and bricks makes me unhappy. It makes me very unhappy. And right now I'm probably the happiest that I've been in a long time, at least two years. Uh, <laughs> so why try to change that f for your benefit when... I'm not benefiting from your benefit, if that makes any sense. Why would somebody inflict their own beliefs on somebody who doesn't believe in what they believe in? I don't inflict my beliefs about God on y'all. My beliefs are different than y'all's. I'm sure of that. A lot of y'all, not, not all of you, but a lot of you. So I keep them to myself. It ain't that I don't believe in God. It's just that I believe differently than most. And it's the same thing about life for me. I believe differently than most. So who the fuck is the doctor to tell me that living in a van isn't what? It isn't what? Sanitary? Really, it's not. I have everything I need to wash my ass right there in the back. Everything. I wipe my ass with toilet paper. He wipes his ass with toilet paper. <laughs> what the fuck? Do I have to sit naked on the fucking toilet to make a goddamn video to send to the fucking doctor to say, hey, I shit just like you do? <laughs> I mean, realistically, man. And there's so many... It, is, it doesn't just stop there. This, oh, let's go back. It don't stop there. It's not just with people in the van life. It's also gay people. It's also people who have incurable diseases that are contagious. It's also white versus black sometimes. Old versus young sometime. And see, this is all to keep us separated. But I won't go into that whole rant because that's a whole nother situation. And I'm sure y'all have heard me go into that one a few times. But uh, You know, not everybody lives their life exactly alike. Even though that's what the higher-ups would like us to do, is live our life exactly the same. <laughs> because it keeps us where they want us to be. It keeps the 
rich, rich, the poor, poor, and there is no middle class. The van lifers are the middle class. Upper middle class, most of them, because you live in a fucking van. <laughs> and the higher-ups can't stand that. So they try to shut us down as best as they can. And when you bring it up to a higher-up that happens to be a doctor or something like that, then all of a sudden you're wrong. And you shouldn't do that. And it's not sanitary. And it's not clean. And it's not this and it's not that. And how do you flush? And how do you shit? And how do you eat? And how do you sleep? The fuck? I sleep like you do. I eat like you do. I shit like you do. I wipe my ass like you do. I shower like you do. I bathe like you do. It's just it's in the goddamn way. <laughs> fuck is I don't understand. And this ain't my first go around with this. This is this has been three or four times now. Now this has been one or two doctors that actually understand and get it. But it's been more than a few that don't get it because their mindset for instance when I was struggling and I didn't really have a lot. For them, it was easy to say, oh, well, you should just go buy this and buy that and go to the grocery store and buy these groceries and go to Whole Foods. And and Whole Foods is not cheap, by the way. Whole Foods is expensive as fuck. Now, I go to Whole Foods. Now that I can go to Whole Foods, I go to Whole Foods. But before... When I couldn't go to Whole Foods, they were talking just like it wasn't nothing. Just go pick this up and pick that up. You got an extra 40 bucks that you can... No, nobody has an extra 40 bucks. Not everybody is... I'm not going to call them rich because not all doctors are rich, but (laughs) goddamn. Anyway, that was my rant for today. Funny thing happened last night. I had a blower on the back of my trailer. So, it's a long story, but I ended up with this trailer. It's my trailer. Now, uh, thanks to my ex for that one. Not the, not the ex from what, who y'all know, but the ex before that. But I have a trailer, a whole cargo trailer. It's one of them flat big ones. And I had a little blower on there last night. And I had a bump in the goddamn thing. It (laughs) fell off the trailer. The gate came off and the blower came out. And I looked in my rear view mirror and traffic was going in every direction but straight. (laughs) And a guy rolled up next to me and said, you lost your gate. I said, huh? And I looked in the rearview mirror and all I saw was sparks. Uh, yeah. So, initially I had that blower because I was going to get it running and try to sell it and uh, try to get some money circulating. Or even I was going to take it and use it to blow leaves later this year if I felt better or something, but um, yeah, when you put a trailer on the back of an extended van, make sure that whatever is in that trailer is strapped down because when the, you have an extra two or three feet at the tail end of that van with an extra six or seven inches of trailer hitch, uh, and you hit a bump and your shocks are bad in the back, and uh, you are pulling a trailer that has loose things in it, it tends to make the trailer hop a little bit more, is what I'm noticing. Now, I've never had an extended Ford van. Let me think about that. No, I had an extended Dodge once, but not a Ford. So... Yeah, make sure that's strapped down good. 
Anyway, I am about to go. My phone is dying, and I will talk to y'all later. Make sure you tell somebody you love me today. is a very important thing to do. And are we still recording? I hope we are. And I will talk to y'all later from my clean van. Goodbye.